and Cavallo started skating professionally, Stu. Harry Truman was the president. Back together, jammers moving up. Less than a minute in the period. Francine Koshu. And a whip to Dolores Tucker. She is the pivot skater, but right now she is my, she has all the rights of a jammer because the jammer started the play. So here she comes at the back of the pack, and she can score just like a jammer. The triple block up there by Candy Jones and Cavello, and J.J. Burton against Dolores Tucker puts her down. Francine Cochu drops back to give her a hand. They've got something put together here, and Francine Cochu is going to lead the way. Here comes Francine Cochu leading Dolores Tucker into this triple block. Gives her a whip. Big down in the back. The whole pack goes down. Tucker over the top. Falls it off. Bombers had their own triple block ahead of the Jolters. Put them down. And Tucker jumped over the top. Three bomber points. There's the horns at the end of the period. Let's watch this again on replay as they tie it up. Koshu cannot score. Remember, it is Tucker that can. Now, here, three blocking in the back. Ryan Ramirez and Weston. Tucker over the top. Calls it off. And we have got ourselves a tie game here. Time has run out in the fifth period. The score standing. The Bay Bombers, 28. Southern Jolters, 28. As we pause along the IRSL network. The A big hello to Bomber fans watching this telecast in San Francisco, San Jose, and the biggest little city, Reno, Nevada. Men off the line now, the sixth period underway. 28 all, tie game here at the Richmond Memorial Auditorium. Jolters and Bombers in action. period they get to start at the front of the line don't have to fight their way up through the pack and get around and get a key block and just sail by for the point larry lewis with the point to put them ahead by one well sir press down on the infield now the team roster for the southern jolters in the men's field gray jersey zero is world gray number two is frank Macedo. number four mike sister number five is wayne johnson number eight is our name mcpherson number nine rod allen and number ten the coach of the jolters alfonso ray Number nine, Rod Allen. Bombers, no jammers up there. Send their pivot, Frank Apodaca, out. Throw the block, and that's all for Allen. Our name is Pearson out now for the Jolters. Pearson moving up on Apodaca, knee block, elbow, and the inside. Another block, and Pearson puts Apodaca down. About a half minute of jam time here. Jolt is the only scoring threat. Darnay McPherson, number eight. Bombers up by a point, 29-28. Apodaca blocked back at the rear, goes down. McPherson's got a point over him. Now they got Jim Fitzpatrick in trouble. Fitzpatrick taking that. McPherson calls it off. There are two Jolter points. And the score seesawing back and forth. Now it is the Jolters on top by 130 to 29. Darnay McPherson has scored on the last play. Line up now for the Bay Bombers in the men's field. We're in jersey number six. An odd number tonight is Jim Fitzpatrick. Number 31 is Brad Lemkill. 32 is Larry Lewis. 35, Mike Gannon. 36 is Frank Apodaca. Number 37 is Louis Carabello. And number 38, the coach and the general manager of the Bay Bombers. You see him right there, Bill Grohl. Grohl in there with a blocker's helmet right now. As Apodaca has the pivot. Back together. Mr. Starting the jam and then whipping out the pivot skater, Alfonso Reyes. Larry Lewis out for the Bombers. Moving on Reyes, another 
Jones around the first time. Remember, he outmaneuvers Graves. Goes around the outside of him. And Dave Eddy, he makes it look so easy. Put on a burst of speed that time to pull away from Alfonso Reyes, as you see here. Frank Casino trying to give uh, Reyes a little boost. In fact, Lewis waving him on. Where are you? Where are you? Gets the easy oh, point. That's rubbing it in there. <laughs> <laughs> like that. 30-30. We have got a tie game here in the sixth period. Six minutes. We're at the halfway point of the period. Murray Lewis has been the most effective for the Bonner so far tonight. Mike Gannon has kind of been stymied in the back today. Gannon in as a jammer now for the Bonner. They're going to have to shift him a little more. Schultz is a jammer out on top. Rod Allen, number nine. Also out for the Jolters now, number five, Wayne Johnson. Bombers Frank Apodaca out. Apodaca behind out number two to one. Gammon moving for the Bombers, a long way behind. Apodaca looking at double block, rushes up, he breaks the block. Johnson and Allen tied up. Gammon up in front of him, then Gammon will slow those two jolters down now. Here's Apodaca, the lead jammer. Frank Epidaka at the rear. Darnay McPherson doing the blocking for the Jolters. And he blocked. Elbow by McPherson. Hammered block by McPherson. Epidaka, the only scoring threat here. Now Alfonso Reyes will block. Five seconds, time running out. Reyes sign Epidaka up. McPherson finds out into the block. There's a buzzer. There is no score on the play. So the ball is unable to take advantage of a jam in which the Jolters did not have a player out. It will remain a 30-30 tie game. About four minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the period. Watch this again. Apodaca coming up, locked on the outside. This is the replay. Yeah. Here comes Reyes back. Now, Reyes will tie Apodaca up. Bill Burrell fighting to get back, but McPherson comes back and blindsides Apodaca with a block. There is no score. Roller Derby is truly a very simple game, but if you'd like to learn the finer points, get a printed set of the rules of the game, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to IRSL Rules, Post Office Box 7979, San Francisco, California, 94120. That is Rules, Box 7979, San Francisco, 94120. Jolter Jammer starts at the seat of it. He gives a whip to Alfonso Reyes. Jolter coach Alfonso Reyes out with a pivot helmet here. Bombers looking, have no one. Dirty all tie game. Jolter's a pretty good shot at it right here. They've got the only contending champion of coach Alfonso Reyes. Bill Kroll back to block. Bomber coach Kroll on defense. Tito blocking the only bomber jammer out Carabello way back there. Kroll a hammer block on Reyes. Another block by Bill Kroll. Raise up, hit again. Bill Crow, knee block in there. Another knee block by Crow. Hammers an elbow. Raise standing, he's staying on his skates. Raise coming back up. Missed block by McPherson, takes his own coach out. Five seconds, Raise up and moving again. Crow set. Block on the outside, Raise over the rail. There is no score on the play. Hands on their feet here in Richmond. Raised in the left of the public address announcer. Little over two minutes remaining in the period now. Here's the replay again. Crow with some punishing blocks there. A knee block. Another knee block. Hammered elbow. Reyes coming back up. Here's where Kroll sees McPherson coming back. Trying to give him a shot. He just ducks out of the way. McPherson committed to the block. 
Nowhere to go but into his own coat. Back together now, about minute 45 in the period. 30 all, five games still. Jones is going to get the first jammer out here. Our name is Pearson. And Apodaca is going to go out in pursuit with the pivot helmet. Apodaca, look at uh, this block, he goes down. Apodaca ducking as that pack went by. Jones is the only scoring threat now. Great Tony McPherson, and they've done this quite a few times in this game. And I'm surprised that they aren't up on that scoreboard. And Capodac on defense down a block on McPherson. Now Bill Crow on a block on McPherson. Crow with another block. Elbow by Bill Crow. And he's got to keep Josie's up in the back. Here comes Brent Capodac out of the jammer for the Bombers. He gets around the outside of McPherson. Capodac back. a couple of whips and actually go around the track, pass up that jammer and get in for points himself, but that's exactly what you'll see here. Uh, Grohl occupying the Jolter jammer, Darnay McPherson. Apodaca. All right, there Grohl sees Apodaca, puts the Jolter down. Now look at the bombers trying to get the play in the pack here. Apodaca on the inside. Yeah, Frank Apodaca, big play for the bombers. The buzzer sounds. The end of the sixth skating period with the score standing. The Bay Bombers 33, the Jolt is 30, as we pause along this special IRSL Madison Square Garden Network. Betty trackside with James Paul, coach of the New York Dynamite, who will be coming into Kezar Pavilion to take on the Southern Jolters on June the 17th. Hold on a second, Dave. I got something I want to clear up right now. You know, since I've been back in the Bay Area, the fans have been writing me a lot of letters. There's been a lot of question in the air. I want to clear it up right now. I'm not going to be coaching the Bay Bombers at this time or any time in the future. So fans, Dave Lipschultz, Bay Bombers organization, don't even ask. Okay, you had some questions. Right, you take on the tough Southern Jolters and Alfonso Reyes. No love lost between the two of you, and you'll be at the head of the pack come June 17th. Well, let me tell you something about the Jolter team. I don't really worry about Alfonso Reyes. He's a clown alley type skater out there, and I'll be able to handle him. My team has been primed for this game. We've been working out hard. We're the strongest team in the league. We're coming after the Jolters, the Pioneers, and the Bombers, and we're not going to stop there either. You spoke of the Bombers. who will be skating in the second game of that doubleheader. The Bay Bombers, led by Bill Grohl, and you and he have had some great matchups over the years. Well, you know, Bill, he's getting a little old, and I have to take it easy on him. And I kind of feel sorry for all you Bay Bomber fans out there that have to put up with a coach who's really over the hill. But like I said, I'm not interested in the job, and uh, maybe sometime in the future, but I'm happy with the Dynamite now. And I don't really worry about Bill Grohl at all. So, you know, if he wants to race me, fine, but he's been ducking me. The immediate future, Alfonso Reyes and the Southern Jolters. How do you see that match? Well, I think we'll win it, of course, but they're, they're a tough club. they got Darnay McPherson. He lends a lot of experience, and uh, he's tough out there. The women's field, and Cavella, what can you say? Uh, it's going to be a good game, and I hope the fans will come out and support our club. I know we're from the other side of the country, but uh, I think they're in for some real exciting skating. James Paul, thank you very much. All right, Dave. James Paul, coach of the New York Dynamite. They'll be part of that doubleheader Sunday, June 17th at Kezar Pavilion. We'll see you there. Dave Eddy, so long. Right now, we'd like to welcome fans tuning in each week in the Midwest, Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Springfield, Missouri, just in a few of the cities in the central part of the country that are now a part of this special IRSL Madison Square Garden Network. Women on the track, seventh period, underway, final women's period in regulation time. Billy Ryan blocking out Gary and Abnett, the Jolter Jammer. Back on an abnet. Bombers lead it 33 to 30. Meyer, the 
Nickler. Maria Nickler out there. Okay. For the Joltis. Johnny Weston. We got that part right. Blocking for the Bombers. Puts Nickler down. Ryan trying to get around the block of J.J. Burton. And Ryan is put down by Burton. Nickler back up. Ryan back up. Here comes Ryan. Burton's back there. Here comes Nickler to, up to Weston. Puts her up to the rail. Puts Nickler up to the rail. Here comes Ryan. Blocked again by Burton. No score on the jam. Remains Maybe. the Bombers 33 and the Jolters 30. There's Willie Ryan. Roller Derby is truly a sport for the entire family. Whenever there's a live IRSL game in your area, make sure that you bring mom, dad, and the kids out. Everybody enjoys Roller Derby action. But make sure that you are seeing only the top stars that you see each week here on television. Pack reformed, ready for the next jam. Here comes Terry and Nabnet for the Southern Jolters. Francisco Jew going out on the jam with her. As well as Debbie Cole for the Jolters and number 33, Debbie Ramirez for the Bombers. All four jammers out on the play. Cole puts Ramirez down. Francisco Jew battling with Terry and Nabnet, trying to call off the jam, but she does not have the lead. And now she definitely doesn't have the lead because Cole put her down. Double scoring threat from the Jolters. Johnny Weston will be there to do the blocking for the Bombers. Two jammers to contend with. Bomber put down on the pack. Francine Cochu has been passed now by both Cole and an Abnet. J.J. Burton into the pack there, trying to get a couple more Bomber skaters out of position. Cochu, remember, is not a jammer here. You see her in the picture. Got another Bomber taken back there. Star Switzer has been scored over. Five seconds. That's going to block Cole down. There's the buzzer. Jam is over, but there will be four. Jolter points, two by each jam. Going over to Koshir and Switzer. And the Jolters, two Dan's have taken the lead back, 34-33. They sure have. And Cavella predicts that uh, the women's field will handle it quite well, that they will score enough points to help the men. Seven minutes remaining here in this seventh period. Final winning period, barring overtime. Of course, no game can end in a tie score. Women would be back out if it went into overtime. Goldgers the edge, 34 33. Pack reforming now. Jones and Joan Weston blocking each other at the front of the pack. Opening up for the Jammers, Debbie Ramirez for the Bombers, and Catherine Shaw for the Jolters. Shaw rocking Ramirez, puts her down. And now will be the only threat at this point for the Jolters. Shaw. Of course, Catherine Shaw, there's no love lost here between Shaw and the Bombers because she is a former Bay Bombers skater. And she just started this year with the Jolters. There's a little bad blood there. Joan Weston on defense for the Bombers. Michael Shaw on the outside. Andy Jones back there now to assist. Weston puts the brakes on there. Jones up in front of her. Shoulder block on Jones. This is up with elbow on Burton. Another block by Weston. Jones on Burton. There's the buzzer. There's no score on the floor. Good defense by Joni Weston there. Taking care of Jones, who is trying to assist Catherine Shaw. Okay. We've got a timeout called on the track right now. You see that through his general there indicating it. Timeout has been called. The score standing. Southern Jolt is 34. Bob is 33. A special hello to fans in the Eastern Seaboard watching us over the Madison Square Garden Network. Time out is over. The bomb is called it. We'll be around to pick up the show.
way he can jam himself. Defense is what his duties are. He's a defensive depth. Came on the infield. Burton. Where is Tucker? Tucker complaining about Burton's watch. A little jabbing elbows back there. The whip. Tucker trying to get by high. Is she by it? Not yet. Now she is. Good assist by Joni West. She finally got Tucker by and Calvello. Calvello initially has got a penalty. And there was one bomber point. Tucker scoring over Calvello. That means we've got a tie game now. 34 all. Tucker put down hard there after the jam ended by Ann Covello, being assisted by the trainer. Might mention that games are coming up in the near future in many of the areas where the IRSL is now seen on TV. To receive free advanced information on the next live game in your area, or to write to your favorite skaters, simply drop a card or a letter to IRSL mailing list, post office box 7979. San Francisco, California, 94120. That's mailing list, Box 7979. San Francisco, 94120. Three minutes left in the seventh period of skating. Tie game, 34 all. Southern Jolters and Bay Bombers from the Richmond Memorial Auditorium in Richmond, California. Lindsay goes you out number two to one on this draft. Barry and Abnett, Debbie Cole put it out. There's a double scoring threat here. And again, it's John Weston back to the block. Weston blocking both Debbie Cole and Terry Nebnett. Two scores trying to get by Joni Weston. A late, a late chase by Jammer Francisco Chu for the Bombers. We'll wait to see if she could, could be a factor in this jam. Weston all over the track, blocking the two Southern Southern Jolter jammers, and there's Koshu in there. Koshu has got the lead now. He's by J.J. Burton. Burton's in over there. She can't get by Koshu. No, no, no. A three-point play and a great comeback by Tracy Koshu. Number 35. Fantastic skating by little Francine Koshu, returning to the Bombers, 1984. 37-34. Bombers break the tie, they lead by three, and that's a very happy Francine Gauchu right there. Minute 35 seconds, time remaining here in this final women's period. Fans want to see some more points for the Bombers. They're trying to whoop it up here a little bit, keep the Bombers in the, in the lead. We'll have Cap, Big Cap and Shaw, number seven in a jammer's helmet, along with Terry and Abnett, number two. The Bombers will have Debbie Herrera is 33, will it Ryan 36? Bombers lead it, 37 to 34. The jammer started, but it'll be an Abnett to Cavallo to Big Candy Jones, number four. Jones out wearing a pivot helmet, all the right to the gym. And already back to handle the catch for the Bombers is their captain, John Weston. Jones is like a little fire plug out there. Here she comes. She's got Ann Cavello back there now to give her a little help, but they're still going to have to do something here against Joni Weston. And boy, she goes down by a block by Weston. Cavello yeah, oh, picking her up again. Weston a rocking block. Jones got a hit. It was so hard. Weston went down, too, but Jones is still down. Cavello getting her back up, moving again. Here she comes. Down one more time. Cavello trying to get Jones up there again, and Jones is hurting right now. Weston, rock and rock, and Weston going down. Look how hard it is to put Jones down. There's the board, but time has run out in the jam. There is no score on the play. Watch 
it again on replay, Stu. This is after, I think, two uh, shots already by Weston. Here's a whip to her again. There's the third one right there, down hard. Weston went down herself at that point, too. Here's the final shot coming up right here. Cavello saying, come on, let's get this thing going. There's one more. Weston hit so hard, she's down again. It's a good thing there wasn't more time in that jam, because I don't think... Jones wouldn't have been able to take it. Yeah, and I think Tony Weston had gone just about as far as she wanted to there, too. Tremendous effort there by Johnny Weston to keep Candy Jones down. Time has run out in the period. The score at the end of seven full is Bombers 37, Jolters 34, as we pause along the IRSL Madison Square Garden Network. Men on the track now, eighth and final period of action here at the Richmond Memorial Auditorium. Ken Guzman along with Dave Eddie and Stu Gans with all the action. Bonners and Shoulders. Bonners leading at 37-34. Going into the final stanza. Frankie the seat on the lead. Willie Carabella for the Bonners on the chase. Clear the pack. Still inside. Falls it off. Three Shoulder points on the play. One Bonner point. So the Bombers hang on by one point, 38-37. Watch the replay here. Louis Carabello. Cito trying to open up a lead over Carabello. He goes by the inside. And you can see that Carabello did get in there by a blocker. So the Bombers hang on by one. The International Roller Skating League continues to expand across the country and indeed around the world. This season, IRSL games are being telecast on the Channel 5 network in Italy, where they alternate with other American sporting events, including NBA basketball. Schultz is in their coach. Alfonso Reyes out as a jammer. Barnes might get it out a long way behind. Reyes in the lead. Coach Alfonso Ray scoring, and that ties it at 38-38. Dave, any of the score seesawing back and forth here now. Nobody got a sure shot at it. Looks like it's going to be a game that goes right down to the wire, Ken. Both teams employing different strategy. Their uh, coaches, who normally carry the pivot helmet, are in the middle of the pack, sometimes even jamming. Alfonso Ray's Bill Grohl wearing the blocker's helmet. And, of course, we saw Joe Weston act as the jammers in this game. We've seen a lot of unusual stuff. Bill Pearl stayed in the pack primarily as a blocker. He's let Frank Apodaca take the pivot. Jolters have it open. Both jammers out. Frank Casito, number two, and Mike Fisker, number four. Bottom jammers out from behind. Brad Lefkiel, 31. Larry Lewis, 32. 38 all tie game up for grabs. Cito setting the pace. Lewis will make a bottom foot on the rail. Cito calls it off. There is one Jolter point. Cito scoring. 39 38. The tie is broken. The Jolters have taken the lead. Watch the replay again here. 